Right, good morning guys. Um, today I'm going to be removing these stickers from the van. Um, recently purchased the van, uh, it's going to be a new mobile retailing van. So obviously we don't want all this sort of groundwork. So we're going to be using the smaller cool plastic Stanley blades, Stanley razors. Um, these will help get the stickers off without using your fingernails. It won't damage paint. If you do leave minor marks, the paint is in dire need of a polish anyway, so that will be getting done. Um, we're also going to use a bit of heat to help soften the glue. Um, just be careful. These ones have already been removed. They've peeled some of the lacquer off on this uh, side of the door where it's previously been repaired. So we'll just be careful, we'll take our time. Um, and then in the new year, this door, maybe this door, will both be getting repainted. Um, depends how these stickers all come off. But uh, once you've got them all off, we're going to use time and glue, get rid of all the residue. And then uh, we'll put point it out, some minor mark from where they've had a magnet on it. Um, so we'll use some iron fallout just to remove some of them yellow stains. And, uh, yeah, should look good. Let's crack on. stickers are off um, they actually come off quite nice as you can see in big pieces these ones that are remaining are a nightmare look at all that they're coming off in tiny tiny bits and um, we've got the two lower arms the majority of them are off with a bit of glue to remove uh, you can see the glue residue there so I'm just trying to tackle this one and then we've got these two left um, and there's a max from earlier as on about. So we're getting there slowly. Um, I'm probably not going to time lapse these last few little bits. Right, that's all the stickers removed. Um, all this just residual uh, bits of glue and stuff. I'm going to put it outside now. Uh, get some uh, more time glue, just soften any last bits, give it a blast off. Get all the loose rubbish off and then we will put some iron fallout just to try and remove some of this if you can see it um it's where they had one of these old stickers on it this is all the old rubbish out the van that come with it um what used to have one of these magnetic stickers on it uh obviously where it's just rubbed a bit it's left a little bit of contamination of some sort so I'm far like should remove that. Um, but yeah, we'll get pulled out and make a move. it's definitely got to work on a lot of that uh, iron contamination in the paint and what I've done is 
it's not really what you should do. Uh, the vehicle is a little bit dirty, it got cleaned a couple of days ago, but I've done all the lower sections as well. Um, got a little bit of what looked like brake dust, if you can see it there. Um, so we have just coated that as well. You can see it's starting to work on this, this side, big one there, whatever that is. And same again around this side. It will eventually get a full detail this van. Um, at the moment it's currently New Year's Eve so uh, I'm just doing a quick fix, try and get it as nice as we can before we go back out on jobs again in the new year. Uh, and when we do have some more time we'll get it as good as we can. There you go, look at all that. And all this is just from motorway driving, um, you know, typical stuff that you find on the road, coming off your brake discs, other brake discs around, around you on other vehicles. Um, vans typically do tend to get a lot of build up on the backs, especially if they're work vans and you know they've been doing grinding and whatnot near the back of the vehicle. Um, it does tend to build up as you can see. Uh, yeah, let's get it get it rinsed off. little bits of tar or uh, glue residue off the back. What I'm going to do now is uh, I have clay bar it as well. Fortunately them yellow stains are there um, but I'm going to use the rotary machine polisher now and see if we can bring some of the white back. Um, a lot of that yellowing has gone. That's just the lighting from this one door but uh, a lot of that yellowing has gone. So what I'm going to do is uh, use Auto Glim's Rapid Rem Plus. Uh, it's an excellent product, great for cutting. These, like I say, these doors are beyond sort of saving now. Um, because the first stickers that did come off, I don't know if you can see, but I've peeled the lacquer off. Um, so these will be getting repainted. It's got damage in here as well, as you can see. So these doors will be getting repainted. Uh, we just want to try and get them as nice as we can. Just so we look good on the road. Um, yeah, so we'll get the machine polish out and make start. still marks on there, bits of damage and whatnot. I'm potentially going to either have, have them both repainted like I said, if not uh, I might look at just getting two new doors because um, they have had poor repairs before hence why the lack is coming off. Uh, you know we've got that as good as we can so it's not in your face. Um, but in these lower sections down here, you can see where it's had bad repairs. The badge has been lacquered over. Um, so the easiest option may be just to uh, get two new doors. Again, all like around the camera here. You can see where it's all cracked and whatnot. Along this edge here. 
cut tape lines but um yeah maybe maybe we just look at getting two new doors instead of having them repainted uh because it will be a lot of work for the body shop but for now looks a lot lot better than it did this morning when we pulled it in thanks for watching guys uh hope to see you in the next video